and India's space agency ISRO's moon craft Chandrayaan-3 is set to complete its 40-day journey with a soft landing on the moon on August 23rd. Launched on 14 July, the lander module of Chandrayaan-3 successfully separated from the propulsion module last Thursday. So the question is, what exactly will Chandrayaan-3 do if it makes a successful soft landing to the moon's south pole? And why did ISRO choose the precise landing date and time for it? Well, a senior correspondent, Siddharth MP, explains all these questions. Take a look. On 14th July 2023, India's 3.9-ton Chandrayaan-3 craft began its 40-day journey to the moon. Today, the craft is circling the moon and is just one final lap away from making a lunar soft landing. India's Vikram lunar lander would commence its powered descent or quote-unquote landing process at 5.45 p.m. on Wednesday. And the soft landing is expected to be achieved 19 minutes later. If you've noticed, Chandrayaan-3 started orbiting the moon on August 5th. ISRO's craft has been circling Earth's natural satellite for more than two weeks. One may ask what is the craft waiting for and why is it not landing as soon as possible? Well, here's the answer. Every space mission is launched from Earth at a precise time. This is calculated based on the launch location, the type of rocket used, the intended travel path, the mission objective, and the final destination. Likewise, there are certain key parameters for a lunar landing. These include a targeted landing site, mission objectives, phenomena to be studied, and the capabilities of the lander craft, among others. Chandrayaan 3's landing is meticulously planned for August 23rd as it marks the start of the lunar day. As Chandrayaan 3's lunar lander payloads and experiments are solar powered, only a daytime landing would help charge its batteries and carry out the mission. Chandrayaan-3 is designed to work only for a single lunar day or two weeks on Earth. Therefore, landing at the very start of the lunar day would give Chandrayaan the opportunity to use all of its 14 Earth Day mission life to the fullest. In contrast, the primary power source of Russia's Luna 25 moon lander is a radioisotope thermoelectric generator or a kind of nuclear battery. This would provide power and heat to Luna 25 for at least a year, which is the mission duration. Therefore, Luna could have theoretically landed at any time it deemed fit. Luna was meant to land today, on the 21st of August, but the mission ran into trouble while performing a crucial pre-landing maneuver and crashed into the lunar surface. With the Russian mission declared as crash-landed, all eyes are now on India as it hopes to achieve the impressive feat of becoming only the fourth nation to successfully perform a lunar soft landing. By conducting its lunar landing at the very start of the lunar day, ISRO intends that its Chandrayaan lander and rover both get adequate time or its complete operational life of 14 Earth days or one lunar day to perform all its experiments. Though Vikram and Pragyan, the lander and rover, are designed for one lunar day, ISRO hopes that after the lunar day passes, there will be a lunar night which comprises of two weeks on Earth. After that, when the sun again rises, ISRO hopes that the lunar lander and rover can again harness the power of the sun and thereby it's possible that a life extension of the lander and rover are possible. With video journalist Chandrasekhar from Bengaluru, Siddharth MP, Vyond, World is One.